Hello everyone, uh, I'm using Graffitint um, water soluble pencils today. Um, I've already selected the colours. Uh, I've got this lovely little, it's a picture of a little dog and I just, I couldn't resist it. Uh, so these are the colours um, in my tin. I've, I've got my colour swatches here and I've decided to use these colours. So I'm going to just hydrate these colours so that you can see which ones I've selected. They're all going to be kind of muted. Um, so there's soft mauve, greys, some warmer colours. I never quite know how the painting is going to pan out until I actually wet it. It's quite exciting really, because when you look at it, it looks almost like an ordinary pencil drawing. But once I get the water on, you'll see the colours all sort of spring into life. Now, I'm going to start with the light bits. Uh, I want some light on the edge of the back here. So I'm going to avoid the light. So I'm just going to gently hydrate this section here. So as I'm using the water against the surface, I'll get you a clean tissue, and um, you'll see it's picking up some of the pigment. So I continually clean my brush out if I feel that it's churning up the colors too much. So there's a nice little light patch here. So wherever there's, there's a lovely little bit of light, I don't, move the, 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 the pigment too much. So I'm just looking at this section. I love that little bit of light there. Mustn't wet that. And we've got little, this pore coming down here. Got a little dark section here. Clean the brush out because I'm then going into a light section. And of course, if I, if I don't clean the brush out, I'm likely to get a little bit of dark there that I don't want. This is the shadow area. Just soften that. Oh, that is looking lovely. I'm, I'm happy with that. There's a dark section on the back here. And this section, so that was a little, a little patch, a dark patch. This is a shadow area. Now I want to get right down there with the point of the brush. So I'm just going to make the brush come to a, a point and it's a thirsty brush. So it's not going to be adding too much liquid there. Just tap there just to bring the colour up. Looking nice. I'm going to let that settle a bit um, while I start to work on the front front leg. Just let that catch a little bit, not too much. This is a little in shadow so I don't mind painting all of this. Whereas here I want, I want to leave that in order to get the light. Now I'm working in my little work area here and it's first thing in the morning and the sun is just coming in so I'm hoping I'm going to get this done for you before it actually reaches my work area. Then I have these sun sails that I put up to stop the sunlight actually coming into the room but the light is just gorgeous in here. A little bit of blue now. Now I put a little bit of blue here, this blue here, hardly any. Um, I just felt that there was almost a sheen I wanted at the top of the head. It's one little ear, another little ear. You see, I'm, I, I use a tapping motion, keep cleaning the brush out. This is quite light here, top of the head. I don't mind if that catches. If I leave a little gap, the colours won't run. Then we've got a little dark section here, so I'm just going to tap. Now, you'll see a lot of the colour is coming onto my brush now. So when I get to the end of the dark bit, just here, I have to be very mindful of that and clean the brush out. Otherwise, I'm just going to be transferring that pigment. So the purple would then go into this lovely brown color. So clean the brush out all the time. I'm mindful of what's in the brush. A bit of a softer section there, I think. A little bit softer here. This is in shadow. I quite like this, um, that little bit of light there. I don't want to lose that. I think that's quite, quite nice. Maybe just a little bit softer here to give a roundness of the snout, I think. Yes, I like that. I love these colours, they're so subtle. But it is quite tricky when you, you use them because you have to make your selection and then stick with them. Now, a little bit of background. So, oh, it's just curled up there, look. It looks so snug. Let's get a little bit of shadow at the back. So I'm being careful here with my brush just to, of get an edge 
So we've got a couple of little shadowy bits here. I don't want that to run in too much. Clean the brush out, just let that soften. And then we've got a darker kind of bit. And it's this fabric behind, it's on a sofa or something. It's probably actually not allowed on the sofa. The owner's gone out. I know that's what my little dog does. She stands at the window, watches me go, and then races upstairs fast as she can to watch from a window still upstairs. So once she knows I'm in the car and away, then the coast is clear for her to get up to all sorts of mischief, like sitting on chairs or some place where she's not, she knows she's not allowed to go. So this, that's what this little dog's done, I think. The owner's off, certainly not to the park. The owner is off getting some shopping. And this little dog's thought, yeah, now's my chance. Let's get onto the sofa. Sorry, I digress. Here we go. So just dampening all of this. If I don't want the texture, I just work it in like this. I quite like these graphite tint pencils because the graphite, they've got a high proportion of graphite, so they kind of look more like a pencil, a, you know, an ordinary pencil other than um, a colouring crayon where the colours are obvious when, when they're dry. So this was put on the dry paper, obviously, and then I've rehydrated it. Oh, just a little bit here, the, the paw. Okay. Okay. And at that point, I've, I'm quite happy with that. Now I can either leave that or when that's completely dry, uh, put some more on and work it up a little bit more, make it stronger colours. I quite like that for now, so I'm going to leave it and decide later. But if you've got any uh, water-soluble pencils and you fancy having a go with them, this is a very easy way of doing it. Put the colour on first. Always have your little colour swatches so that you know which colours you've used. So if you have a combination you like, you know for another painting that that works very well together. So that's the stage I've got to. I might put some more on. If I do, I'll film it. Um, if not, I'll leave it at that. Have a go.